We're now going to look in greater detail at the anatomy of this very interesting muscle. The muscle inserts into the mastoid bone, and you can see it's a very short tendon and quite a broad insertion. Then it divides into two separate divisions. The first runs more superficially and attaches here into the sternum, which is the breastbone. The second runs and attaches down into the clavicle and it runs underneath the sternal division. Trigger points can occur in both divisions and we'll look firstly at the uh, sternal division which is the more superficial. There's a trigger point here, here, there and sometimes right down the bottom. The most important is in the mid zone and the pain that comes from this. Remember, the reason that this muscle is missed so often is that you hardly ever feel pain where the triggers occur. The pain is actually referred and you have a complex and unique and unusual presentation. So initially, you may feel pain in the back of your head. More commonly, you may feel pain in the front of your ear, which radiates in a band across like this, right across your face. You may feel a little bit out on the angle of the jaw. And you may feel some discomfort in the cheek itself. So that's the distribution of the sternal division. This pain may masquerade as T and J pain. The nature of the pain is usually a deep ache, but sometimes you have a stabbing component to it, and so it may mimic the pain of trigeminal neuralgia. And it's important that if the diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia is made, that your doctor actually checks these trigger points out because they, in fact, may be the cause and not irritation of the trigeminal nerve. Now we'll look at the trigger points that are found in the clavicular division, the deeper one. There are less, and the first is up high, the second is absolutely mid-zone, and the third is low down, quite close to where it attaches to the clavicle. The pain distribution here is quite different. And the commonest place that you feel pain, which comes from these two triggers, is deep inside your ear. And the second place that you may feel pain is here in the forehead. So again, unusual distribution. This is a little trap, this, this earache pain. I used to work as a general practitioner, and it wasn't uncommon for people to come in with earache, which is a very common presentation, and I would examine the ear and it was completely normal. Under those circumstances, occasionally, this was the trigger that I found, and if I treated that, the ear pain went.